or absent to get the general idea of. Okay, Chao Long, can you help me analyze the, the remix structure of this line? Uh, sure. Uh, what, what, sorry, what line? Line number four? Yeah, number one. Number one. Okay. Can, can you tell me the remix structure of this? How many feet are there and what type of food that is? Can you? Okay, in the first sentence, sentence we have uh, that time mm. of year, mm. though may in me be home. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five feet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we five feet. So what, what is the, the term we use for a meter? Which has five feet long? Call it pentameter. Pentameter, okay. And what type of food that is long? Uh, that is the iambic because, because it is stressed on the second syllable. Yeah, because we have the second syllable of the food is stressed, so we call that one I am. We have five I ams, and this is this is a uh, iambic. Pen, iambic pentameter with five feet and I am five feet five I am okay so the next one the next one is okay Thảo Nguyên Thảo Nguyên hello Thảo Nguyên Thảo Nguyên can you hear me Thảo Nguyên yes miss Yes, can you help me with, num with line number two? Let's analyze the remix structure of this line. Hello, Wing. Were you in the class last Friday, or last Saturday? If, if you won't, I'm sure you won't be able to do this. Hello, Thảo Wing, you hear me? Yes. Just tell um, me whether you were in the class or not. Um, I'm absent. Yeah, that's the reason why I asked you right at the beginning. If you were, if you were, if you weren't in the class, you cannot do this. That's the reason why I said that you guys shouldn't be absent from the theoretical section. Okay. Uh, so Nghe, can you help me with number two? Nghe. Um, number two, we yes. have uh, four feet uh-huh four feet what are they tell me mm. not in mournful numbers okay so what type of food we have here uh we have uh that is choky yes because we have tell me tell not moon num okay the first syllable stretch and we call that choki, okay? We have four chokis, so we say chokaic, chokaic tetrameter. Yeah, chokaic tetrameter. Thank you, Nga. Uh, next one would be, okay, let me, yeah, what's your name, what's your name? Okay, Ngọc, you can help me with number three. Mm hmm, hmm. Okay. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes, let's wait for me. And the sound of the voice that is due. Yes, we have three feet. Okay. We have three feet. So now let's help me figure out the type of foot here. And the sound of a voice that is due. So where is the stress syllable? No. Third one. So, what is the name of that fruit? And the pest. Okay, that's very good. We have the sound, the voice, still. So, we have three and a pest, and we call that an apestic trimeter. Okay, an apestic trimeter. Thank you, Ngọc. Very good. Okay, you were absent, but you did read the, the notes from your friends, right? Now. Huh? Ah, uh, okay, yes. Anyway, I appreciate that one. Yes, at least you do have action, yeah, to like to 
to update, okay, to, to know what you missed, okay? And the last one, um, Hải Long, Hải Long. Yes, I'm here yes, uh, in the previous class. I was absent. Yes, so I don't have any idea. You don't have any idea, and you didn't you didn't watch the recording too. Uh, I don't have a recording to watch. Okay, so yeah, that that is your choice. I have nothing to say. Okay, so Thay V, can you can you help me with number four? Hello, Thay V. Yes. Yes. Number four. Uh, actually, I was absent uh, the last the last day, but I um uh, can I try? It? Sure, you can. Yeah, I think yeah, I think um is ha um have had time for uh, I mean this matter this mean matter okay yeah. So what are the feet here? Um. This, this, uh, I mean, the uh, the first is this is the mm -hmm. uh for forest premier. This is the for forest pride middle. Mm -hmm. Me me. Oh, sorry. Okay, I help you with uh, with this. This is the forest primeval, the murmuring pine in their hemlock. Okay, so yeah. we have six feet here. And do you know the type of the fruit here? Do you know the type of the fruit here? Um, no, I, I have no idea. Okay, so everybody, it's, I say, I add my philosophy is that I never check attendance because it doesn't make sense to me. If you present in the class and you do not pay attention, you do not participate. So that's the reason why I never check attendance. But it doesn't mean that you can be absent anytime you want without knowing anything about the lessons. If you master the, if you master that point, you can be free from that. But if you don't know that one and you still absent from that, that is about your like like I said before. That's your choice. I have I have nothing to say with that. But that is not good at all for you to for you to decide not to know something you haven't. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's what I want to say. You don't know it, and you choose not to know it. And at the end of the course, you don't know anything. So that's not my fault. That's your choice. Okay. Um. So yeah, uh, can you tell me who have shared your answer to this? Number one, who did number one? Can you tell me again? Uh, it's me, it's Chao Lam. Okay, Chao Lam. Uh, number two. Number two. Uh, it's me, Hu Nghe. Yeah, okay, number three. Okay, now. And yes, the, the last one, because, uh, okay, you, you have me just a halfway, so I will give you more chance to, to earn the bonus for this. Huh? And let me give you the answer to this. Uh, for the line number four, we have the first syllable stress here. Okay, so this one is, is dactyl. Okay, dactyl, we have... Sorry, but the, the second one, I mean, the last one, we have the um, the jockey, okay? We have the jockey pre-placed dactyl in the last, in the last, last foot, okay? So now for me not to forget your bonus, I would like to give it to you right now. Chào lắm, chào lắm, yeah, hồng ngọc. And... Yeah, just three students. Okay, everyone. As long as you share your answer, okay, even you ask the questions, you deserve your bonus because you participate in the class and the bonus is for those who participate well in class. Okay, so that's it for the 
for the rhyming. Okay, now we move on to the sound. Okay, which makes which makes poetry different from the other types of literature work? Okay, can you spend some time reading this sound? Sounds are used to emphasize the meaning, action, and emotion, and especially to call the reader's attention to the relationship of certain words. Okay, and we do have some devices here. I want you to read before I start illustration. I, I start demonstration. Okay. Okay, the first one we have on the meta peer. On the meta peer, that is the use of words that sound like what they mean. Okay, alliteration, that is a repetition of consonant sounds at the beginning of the words and at the beginning or at the beginning of accented syllables. Accented syllables, that means it's just syllables. Okay, so you see the use of consonants at the beginning of the words or beginning of the stress syllable. Um, assonance, that's similar to alliteration, but that is not the repetition at the end. But, uh, uh, sorry, at the beginning, that is a repetition of the vowel sounds followed by different consonant sounds. Don't worry, I'm telling you the example to illustrate this. Consonants, that is a repetition of final consonant sounds that are preceded by different vowel sounds. So you can see that alliteration and consonants, they are both about a repetition of consonant sounds, but the first one is staying at the beginning. And the second one, the consonant, is the one that are preceded by different vowel sounds, okay? And the assonance, that is the repetition of vowel sounds. So you have to distinguish the three here. And the last one, rhyme, that is a repetition of, of like accented, I mean, the vowels in the stressed syllable and the sound that follow. Okay, don't worry, I'm gonna give you example. Uh, let me write down on the whiteboard here. The first one is onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia. Yeah, this one is a little bit difficult to pronounce. What does it mean? Ha anybody has taken a screenshot of this? What does it mean? Who can remind me of this? Everyone? Uh, the use of words that sound like what they mean. Yeah, words sound like what they mean. Okay, and you can have something like this. Boom, okay, hiss, sorry. We have boom, we have hiss, we have hiss. Okay, that means the words sounds like what they mean. Boom, that's for something like exploded. You know, bomb, okay, bomb, and you use boom in Vietnamese. Do you know the Vietnamese equivalent for this, everyone? Okay, try not to use your English Vietnamese dictionary to translate the word onomatopoeia. I want you to guess due to the example. Everyone, when you see buzz, 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 it sounds like a bee, right? It sounds like bees. Boo sounds like bomb. Hiss, hiss, it sounds like a snake. Okay, so what, what, what is the, the Vietnamese equivalence for this? Okay, Jin, that's right. That is tổ, tổ thân. Yes, you use the word sounds like what they mean. We call that uh, onomatopoeia. Okay, that is the very first sound device. Okay, the next one is the alliteration. Who can remember? This is a repetition of consonant or accident. Ah, uh, sorry, consonant or vowels, everyone? The consonant. Yeah, that is the, the repetition of consonants, but the consonants here at the, at the beginning, okay? At the beginning of the words or the stress syllable. Okay, let me give you an example. You can have something like this. 
the woeful the woeful woman went waiting Wednesday. Can you based on the definition and identify the the alliteration here? Can you based on the definition and finger out where's the alliteration here? Who okay. can? Consonants at the beginning of the words or stress syllable. We do have the, everyone, what do you see here? You have, woo for woman went waiting wet Wednesday. So this is the case of alliteration. We do see the repetition of consonants. You got what I mean? So this is an example of, of alliteration. You got what I mean, everyone? Hello, is it okay? Is it okay, everyone? <laughs> okay, that's fine. And now we continue with the next one, which is also a repetition of consonants, okay? And we call that consonants. That is also the repetition, a repetition of consonants, but the consonants here preceded, preceded by different vowel sounds. Okay, let me give you an example. The beasts, the beasts climb fast to the crest. Okay, so who can figure out the consonants here? You can have the bonus, you can let raise hands for the, for the right to answer. Who can? You can let raise hands. Who can identify the consonants here? Hello? Nobody knows? I, I don't think the definition is too difficult to understand like this. Um, yes, yeah, Miss. Wing, can you can you figure out the consonants here? Um, is this and mm -hmm. Mm hmm How about the fast here? You do have the fasts, right? You see. Um, I think fast uh, does not sound yeah. kind of like this and crisp. No, no, no. I mean the consonant sounds. I do not mean the word. So this one, beasts, fasts, crests. You know, the sound. I do not mean beast and fast and crest các bạn phải nhớ đây là cái consonant sound nha các bạn nó đâu có phải là nguyên cái từ đó đâu đúng không còn cái từ đó cái syllable đó thì nó không có được gọi là consonant mà nó sẽ được gọi một cái tên khác hiểu không ở đây là nó đang chỉ nói cái phụ âm thôi các bạn thì ở đây mình sẽ thấy là cái cái consonant ở đây là đúng chưa the beast climbed fast to the crest đó, thì những cái đây gọi là consonants Trong trường hợp này nó sẽ là consonants Còn cũng là consonants Nhưng mà consonants nó at the beginning Thì mình sẽ gọi nó là alliteration Ví dụ như work for women when waiting Wednesday Không phải tự nhiên mà người ta là để wo 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 như vậy Nó chính là một cái sound device tên là alliteration Understand không các bạn? Quyên. Còn Quyên nói cái chỗ mà beast, với fast, với crest thì nó sẽ thuộc một cái gọi là rhyme. Lát hồi mình sắp cái rhyme sau ha. À, nó gọi là gieo vần. Còn ở đây nó chỉ dừng ở cái mức độ là sao em. Chưa tới cái vần đâu. Ha? Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. And the last one with the sound device, I would like to tell you about the, the, the assonance. Okay, the assonance. Ah, who can remember about the assonance? Who can remember anything about assonance? The assonance is learn, yes. the repair, uh, repetitions of vowel sounds mm. followed by the different consonant sounds. Yeah, repetition of vowel sounds followed by different, by different consonant sounds. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm gonna sneeze. Okay, sounds like this. And example like this. Oh, the crumbs that opened to his ears. Now, okay, who can figure out, who can single out 
the assonance in this line. Who can help me with this? You can lick raise hands, everybody. Hey, who can help me? <laughs> who can help me with the assonance? Hey, nobody knows. Nobody knows. Uh, Thảo Lân again. I think it's is the chromes. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, just tell me the sound, the vowel sound, because that's not the level of the words or the I, syllable. We have O. Yeah. We have O. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, o, yes. What else, Lynn? Yeah. 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 This is the way. Oh, the crowns are open to his eyes. Ta -ta. If you make it fast, you're going to have to. You got what I mean, Lynn? Yes. Yeah. So sometimes we have exactly the same vowel sounds, but sometimes they, they, they can repeat the almost the same vowel, the similar vowel sounds together as the effect of assonance. So you can see these are the sound devices. On the tap here, Alliteration, consonants, and assonance. Okay, alliteration, consonants, and assonance, they are the repetition of vowel sounds and consonant sounds. Okay, and onomatopoeia, that is the words, that is the use of words that sounds like what they like. Okay, so that's it, everyone. That's it. Is it clear? <laughs> Don't worry, you're going to have an exercise to identify these sound devices. <laughs> Okay, so let's let's get back to um, to our main section. Okay, these are just example of the device here, and now I want you to switch your attention to the rhyme. Um, rhyme is a repetition of accented vowels. Okay, accented vowels that means the vowels in the stressed syllables and the sounds that follow. Okay, các bạn nhớ ha cái accented nó chính là cái stress nó các bạn ha tại vì trong văn học đó, người ta sẽ không có dùng từ stress nhiều mà người ta sẽ dùng cái từ là accented và biết chưa cái accent nó chính là focus đúng không thì cái accented trong trường hợp này, này nó chính là cái chữ stress ok so let's look we do have five types of rhyme the first one is the masculine let's spend reading this by uh, let's spend time reading this by yourself masculine feminine internal and rhyme approximate rhyme okay rhymed sound have only one syllable i guess this one is very easy right okay feminine rhyme sound that have two or more syllables Two or more than two, I mean. Internal means within the line, and rhyme means the ones appeared at the ends of the lines. And approximate rhyme, they are not, they do not sound exactly the same, but they sound similar. Back to the example here. Uh, okay. Yes. Beasts and crests, they are kind of. As a kind of approximate rhyme, they are they do not sound exactly the same, but they are similar. And you see, they are approximate rhyme and they are internal rhyme because you can see you can see their appearance within the line. You got what I mean, everybody? Okay, có cần nói tiếng Việt không ha? Có cần nói tiếng Việt không? Ok, thì các bạn phải biết đó là cái nãy giờ, đây cái onomatopoeia, onomatopoeia, alliteration, consonants và accents là nó đang dừng ở mức độ là sounds. Bạn hiểu không? Sounds thì mình đã có cái vowels, mình có cái consonants. Ok, thì cái cái onomatopoeia, onomatopoeia nó chính là cái cách sử dụng cái từ mà nó có cái âm thanh giống như nó giống như cái nghĩa của nó ví dụ như bạn bạn thấy um, uh, tên bên tiếng việt đó, mình có cái từ tượng thanh nào ha rắc 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 đúng không rúc rắc 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 thì những cái từ đó nó nó làm cho mình mường tượng ra cái âm thanh của cái của cái từ đó thì mình sẽ gọi là onomatopoeia thì những cái từ ví dụ như là bus boom his kiss mình nghe his his là mình thấy cái cái hoạt cái 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 action đó rồi 
hiểu không bạn thì nó sẽ là anemotivier cái thứ hai là alliteration nó chính là cái sự lặp lại phụ âm cô nhắc lại là phụ âm không phải là cái âm tiết nha yeah. phụ các bạn đã học dẫn lần ngôn ngữ rồi thì bạn biết âm nó khác với âm tiết chỗ nào đúng không âm tiết là syllable còn âm là nó đang nó là cái đơn vị khác ha thì cái phụ âm sự lặp lại phụ âm mà cái phụ âm đó nó nằm trong cái stressed syllable ví dụ bạn thấy là waffle thì cái cái quờ này nó đang nằm trong cái stress syllable đúng không woman thì cái quờ nó cũng nằm trong cái stress syllable luôn thì những cái sự lặp lại phụ âm như thế này nó tạo ra một cái effect nhất định à, đúng không nó tạo ra một cái gọi là cái sao effect thì nó sẽ gọi là alliteration thì mình có cái sự lặp lại phụ âm đứng đầu thì mình cũng có sự lặp lại phụ âm ở cuối đúng không phụ âm đứng cuối thì mình sẽ có một cái tên khác gọi là consonants được chưa consonants còn nguyên âm thì sao nguyên âm thì tất nhiên nó sẽ là cái ở giữa rồi đúng không thì sẽ là repetition of vowel sound followed by different consonant sounds đây thì chính là accents còn rhyme thì bạn có thấy là mình sẽ có những cái loại rhyme masculine có nghĩa là rhyme sound have only one syllable ví dụ ha cô sẽ cho các bạn ví dụ ok um, masculine rhyme đó là lý do tại sao cô nói là các bạn không nên miss những bài mà nó có liên quan tới lý thuyết tại vì bạn sẽ gọi như là bạn sẽ giống như là alien nếu như bạn Back to the class when it comes to the practice section. À, nếu như mà bữa mà bữa thực hành mà bạn không biết lý thuyết là coi như bơi luôn. Ha. Masculine là masculine rhyme là cái rhyme sound have only one syllable. Ví dụ như có nói man là ran. Đúng không? One syllable. Thì cái này gọi là masculine rhyme. Ok. Man ran detects corrects. Thì cái, 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 cái nào nó đang rhyme với nhau vậy ta? Hoa thi, ví dụ như cô nói trong cái trường hợp cái thứ hai thì cái nào đang rhyme với cái nào em? Hoa thi. Dạ, là cái âm cuối ạ. Ừ, nó sẽ là cái chữ um, nó sẽ là text và à, nó sẽ là x trong text và x trong correct. Nhớ cho cô nha, cái này nó nằm ở gọi là cái gọi là cái 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 cái, cái um, syllable á. Ha, được rồi tức là cái mức cái 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 level của nó nó sẽ cao hơn là so với sound ok rồi tiếp theo mình có dạng feminine đúng không feminine còn ai nhớ definition là gì không các bạn feminine rhyme two or more than one um, two or more than two bạn sẽ có ví dụ như là ví dụ như là gì ta Ừ, ví dụ như cô nói là deceptively đúng không deceptively hoặc là uh, deceptively với lại perceptively đấy thì cái này nó chính là một ví dụ của cái gọi là feminine rhyme understand feminine rhyme deceptively perceptively you got that okay rhyme sound have more or two syllable Ok, rồi Internal Internal rhyme Đây, ví dụ ngay đây luôn Internal rhyme là như đây Còn uh, End rhyme thì dễ thấy End rhyme là cô sẽ quay lại Cái ví dụ mấy bữa mình học rồi Bây giờ bạn nhìn Những cái bài này coi À, cô chưa cho một Đây, ví dụ đây Nhìn vào cái này xem Cái end rhyme là cái chỗ nào hả các bạn End rhyme là chỗ nào ha Who can finger around the end rhyme here? Can you volunteer for your bonus? Yes, uh, I think end rhyme here is uh, our time and crime. Yeah, time and rhyme. Okay, that's good. Yes, time and crime. That is the end crime, and that's also the masculine rhyme because we just have one syllable. Understand? End rhyme, that is a masculine one. Okay, good. And the approximate rhyme, I did explain that already. Approximate rhyme, approximate là giống như là nó hơi hơi giống giống nhau thôi. Nó gần giống nhau, ví dụ như trong trường hợp bạn để beast và fast, đúng không? Thì nó chỉ là 
gần giống chứ nó không có giống hoàn toàn thì mình gọi là approximate right is it okay everyone <cười> okay that's fine now let's move on yes we have this hmm everyone would you please analyze the sounds devices you can find here okay rồi bây giờ các bạn ha Okay, everyone, I would like you to work in your groups and try to think around any sound devices you can see in this poem. That can be on a tapir, alliteration, accidents, consonants, and the rhyme. Is it okay, everyone? Hello. <laughs> okay, now, everybody, would you please take a screenshot and then I will give you some time to work with your friends in your breakout room. And after that, you have to be here at the main section and present about the sound devices you can single out. Is it okay? Everyone finish taking the screenshots? Yes. <laughs> Now, the instruction here is finger out the sound devices in this poem with your teammates. And because we have 18 students here, so I want you to work in three rooms. And now at 7.28, so you guys, you need seven minutes. Seven minutes, is it okay? Okay, 10 minutes. Rồi, bây giờ các bạn có biết là mình sẽ làm gì không ha? Hello. Hello. Yeah. À, bây giờ cô sẽ nói là tiếng Việt cho mình rõ ha. Tức là bây giờ bạn sẽ làm trong nhóm ha. Mình sẽ có ba nhóm hết và các bạn sẽ là nhiệm vụ cho cô là mình sẽ tìm ra những cái sound devices sound devices là những gì là những cái onomatopoeia nè alliteration nè consonants nè accents nè và rhyme ok bạn có thể là bạn bạn dùng cái kỹ thuật à, edit gì đó bạn bạn highlight trên màn hình whatever cái gì cũng được miễn là lát hồi bạn có thể show lên cho các bạn thấy là được is it okay everyone 10 minutes enough for you guys 10 phút đủ không ha <cười> hello Dạ, tới đó không đủ, xin tiếp cô <cười> Ok, rồi. Tại vì... Um... Rồi, ok. Vậy cô cho các bạn 15 phút ha. Ok, if you need for help, ask me for help. I will visit your room. Ha? So now let's join your breakout room. I will put you guys into room automatically. Ok, now everybody, would you please join your room? Thank you. 